So we're here at the Lenovo booth. So who are you? Hi, I'm, I'm Jonathan Hinkle uh, with Lenovo. I'm in a uh, server uh, system architecture uh, group in Enterprise. So we had the Open Server Summit. So what do you do here at the Open Server Summit? Okay, well, I, I'm the conference chairman, actually, and uh, we have a really great show. We've, we've basically grown many, many years now uh, significantly, and uh, we're basically focused on servers. Uh, we've been talking about um, a lot of today, we've been talking about software-defined storage, software-defined networking, software-defined compute, and how to make sense of all the innovation uh, in the data center really to produce real results uh, for customers. So open server, does that mean Linux? Uh, so it, it can, so it's, it's a lot of it is going to be open source, uh, open source software along with um, other operating systems though. I think it's a diverse ecosystem of software, but uh, a lot of open source and then also open standards for hardware. Um, a lot of uh, excellent innovation based on a foundation of uh, existing hardware uh, that gives you the lowest price, but then you can build upon for innovation. So you work at Lenovo, right? Mm -hmm. And Lenovo is pretty big at doing server stuff? Yes. So, so what is this? So this is our PureFlex. Uh, it's our converged platform. Um, it's a very exciting uh, integration of computing, networking, and storage. Uh, we have a um, significant amount of compute that you can, obviously you have different nodes here that you can plug in. Uh, we have drives, we have um, basically a variety of different interchangeable uh, pieces. So you can configure your system however you like that uh, applies best to your application. So what do you do at Lenovo? Uh, so I'm a system architecture. Um, basically, we've just gone through uh, some transition. We just acquired System X from IBM. Um, we've been about a month now uh, with this acquisition. So now we have a very full portfolio. Uh, we have System X uh, servers from high end. This is our Converge platform. It says IBM right here. So this is the, the part of what you acquired? That's right, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Lenovo's number one for laptops. Are you number one for servers now? or? Well, that's that's part of the uh, in, you know, our, some of our targets. Basically, we have number one in PCs, we have uh, mobile, we have tablet. Uh, so we're growing all spaces. And now in enterprise, we're a very serious contender, uh, shooting towards number one. Definitely already in the top top three, top four of, what, in the what, world. What's uh, what, th what are those over there? What so is that for? This is our high-end server. Uh, basically, it's our uh, very high-end uh, system with lots of memory. Um, this is a very interesting design with uh, discrete books that you can pull out with com uh, computational, uh, basically, memory and compute. And then we also have um, a variety of uh, storage options. This is really great for database and for virtualization. All right. And um, really high-end workloads. We also have um, two boxes. Um, this is uh, the M5, the, the 3650 M5, um, another great choice for uh, more of a high volume. Um, you can scale this out in a rack. All these are rack-based servers. Um, and then we have um, some of our Think servers. Some, this is some of our Lenovo brand we just launched for Grantly servers um, on the Think server brand. And we have uh, a 2U here and a 1U server. So we basically have a very full portfolio now. So who buys these servers? So, is it like the giant cloud computing companies, or is it more like enterprise? Uh, is it like smaller enterprises or huge ones? Yeah, everyone. <laughs> so, everyone. so yeah, so so cloud. Um, we have definitely products that are applicable both to cloud and to traditional IT. Uh, with our system out X portfolio, we have pretty much a lot of the different needs. Most of the needs, I would say, even for the market, for our customer, for traditional IT, as well as in the cloud, we have also dense servers, which is uh, HPC, the high performance computing. Um, and then we also have um, China Cloud, we have uh, the OCP effort that we're, we're engaging with. So I think we have a lot of different aspects of um, both cloud and for traditional IT. Uh, we have a lot of interesting products and continue to grow. So who are the attendees for this uh, conference right here? Uh, like uh, this is an open server summit. It's in the Silicon Valley. All everybody here works here or in Silicon uh, Valley or what? Um, probably, probably a significant portion. Um, certainly there's a lot of technologists, a lot of technology in the Silicon Valley always has uh, for many, many years, obviously many decades. Um, so this is a great place to have uh, this show. Certainly um, for a server show, um, you know, we have uh, a variety of different sites and a lot of different places that the technology comes in. We're, we're sort of in a centralized place to come and talk about the technology. Uh, have a lot of great uh, from cloud and from end user IT folks to the, the folks that make the hardware like us, uh, make the technology.
and a lot of different uh, architectures and platforms and a lot of things are happening, right? Mm -hmm. In the server space, in the microservers and uh, all right. that stuff, right? That's right, yeah. There's, there's a lot of changes going on in the IT industry, a lot of uh, changes going on in the server industry. And um, that's actually one of the things that Linux is going to be excellent at, is making sense of all that, um, delivering hardware and products and solutions that are very well um, optimized, both from a uh, cost perspective and uh, basically leveraging some of our uh, excellence in operation and efficiency, as well as innovation.